okay uh, good morning and uh, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial now I'm going to teach you how you're going to start uh, drafting a floor plan so first of all uh, you have to set up the layers type LA okay we start with let us say uh, grid lines grid lines okay. you select your color I'm going to use red in our pen assignment, we are using this one as 0.1 or 0.09, little thicker, yellow, and 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on. Okay, so we start with red as a lighter uh, line weight. And then you have the line type that you're going to choose. You load, use uh, VP ISO dash, and this dash, okay, and then use it. Okay, then afterwards, you uh, Make again another layer for let's say footing. I know column, column. Change the color. Okay, maybe we can use green. Okay, and then make sure that your line line type is uh, just a, a solid line. Okay, and then another layer. Let's say uh, wall. Okay, the color maybe yeah green is uh, good. For column, uh, we can change it to cyan. Okay, and then another layer. Uh, let's say doors, windows. Can use red color. Okay, I think that's all for now. No dimension. We, got, we add dimension. We use red color for dimension. Okay, so we'll close this, this one, and then we start doing the grid lines we use grid lines we type L let us say we estimate 20,000 or 20 meters okay. so this one is for your grid lines we can offset let's say for my floor plan I'm just uh, thinking about my floor plan you can do your own as well we have 4,000 okay. offset And then you have horizontal grid line. You can offset 5,000 maybe, or 5 meters, 5,000 millimeters or 5 meters. Okay. And then you can start with your column. Okay. Use column. Okay. Type REC. Okay. For the rectangle, click here, and then don't forget dimension. Click dimension. Okay. Let's say 250, and then you have 300. Click it here. And then from here you can copy this one, CO, pick it from here or anywhere that you like, better here at the midpoint, and then put it here. And then from here you can move, make it in the center, pick it from here, midpoint, and then just move it here. So it's in the center. Afterwards you can copy all of them, pick it here in the center, and then put it, put it here uh, in the every corner of your the grid lines. Okay, So this, uh, actually this is the and the main point of having these grid lines and it's the same way that you're going to have it in the actual in during the construction stage you always have the grid lines afterwards you can create your wall so for your wall okay here better to turn up the grid lines first so that it will not uh, affect us uh, in our drawing and then this one okay so you have line for wall okay, and then you do like this okay you can offset for the thickness, okay, O, type O, let's say 200 millimeter thick, okay, you can have like this one, okay, and then you can make here for your doors and windows, right away, I will just uh, show you a simple way of uh, doing this one, and then we can copy afterwards to a different uh, uh, location of your wall in the case uh, that uh, you have the same uh, details. Type L for your uh, window, look look at here uh, choose at the midpoint okay and then you can offset let's say one meter or one thousand millimeter going up and then also here okay then from here you can use trim tr okay spacebar click like this okay tr okay click like this spacebar then cut this that you don't like or that you want to cut i should say l 
here at the midpoint going to other side and then L again here repeating command you can just uh, hit the sp space bar space bar again for to repeat command and delete like that so you have this one okay if you have the same uh, details let's say you can copy this one CO I could copy here put it here if I have the same details for example I will copy here if it's the same dimension okay now this one again I could copy from here and then put it here okay now for the front uh, details again I L use wall L okay and then go like this one offset again type O 200 millimeter click here and then here if you have the same de detail there's some uh, technique that I could show you CO copy this one okay put it here okay then I could rotate this one I will do the command R O click this one and then click anywhere here then move it like that okay from here this one I could just move type M okay so that will not make uh, any repetitions of uh, drawing I could put it in the midpoint look for the midpoint this is it okay then you can trim TR okay okay you can do like this one and then like this one escape oh no space bar click this one and then click this one then you're done okay now uh, we make here the door for example you have here the length of the block is 400 millimeter type L click it here type 400 and then 200 going for the thickness and then just uh, connect it here okay the length of the door at the front maybe one meter 1000 I just have to mark like this and then uh, 200 okay not me for here okay and then this one okay then I can delete this one rectangle for my door click it here okay first dimension so you're going to type the 51st horizontal dimension which is 50 and then 1000 so you have here okay now this one is for doors and windows you can click it like that and then click it here okay okay type a arc click it here like this here and then other side How about here? You make the window again or door. I make a uh, L locate okay, at the mid span possibly, or maybe you can just uh, have to leave one block here. Offset one block is 400 millimeter, so that during construction just have to lay one block here. Also here, I can use this one for offset, and then I could delete later, or I could use TR, okay, like that. Okay, could do like this one, and then this one I could erase. Okay, TR for team I do like this and then before that it would be better if you are going to use make here uh, the center like this one okay this one I'll make as doors and windows just follow with the okay, with my uh, commands and then TR for trim spacebar click this click this one then L again here and then here and then here and here there are so many uh, ways how you are going to, to present the doors and windows this one is the easiest and simple way also you have this one now uh, let's say you have one bedroom here here type L connect it from here going there okay of course uh, you change this one for your wall okay you then offset okay offset uh, thickness let's say 100 okay like that you can click this one okay we use wall okay. or some other method that you could do I could do like this one L one block here I could write one uh, put one block 400 and then here is uh, thickness uh, interior wall is just a uh, 100 maybe and do like that like this one and then make here a some uh, uh, just a mark 1000 for uh, no, 900 better 900 for okay and then you have like this one uh, 100 thickness then you can end going here perpendicular line and then again here connect it here I could delete this one and then 
uh, I could make another line here for for this one for the wall offset 100 okay and then we have like this one okay uh, door for okay. inner door type rectangle REC okay here dimension type 900 for the width and then 50 for the height or the thickness then you have like this one type A from here going here and then connect on the other side this one should be doors and windows okay at least you have something like this here and then the same it's the same case that you're going to do on the other side that they would like you to do it by yourself now uh, I could write type DT, DT. this is just a uh, simple uh, floor plan that you could just easily follow for the meantime so type here uh, let's say this one is uh, kitchen okay here is living room okay move and then here is maybe dining area or room here is your be bedroom of course you still have to uh, work for your uh, kit, uh, toilet and bath okay I could also here type okay just to complete this one uh, 400 for the blocks and then here 100 uh, 200 no again L here is 200 and then okay. uh, I can use this uh, detail or just copy CO okay pick it from here I could just put it here okay and then L for the one meter 1000 okay I could do like this one 200 going down and then connect it here perpendicular then again I could delete this one I could type A here and then going here for my okay we take note this one is for doors and windows okay if you have the same if you have the same details here you can just copy this one let's say CO can copy this one okay I could delete this one CO I copy this one and then take it from here and then move it there something like this one uh, I don't know where you're going to put your toilet you can put it here okay so I think that's all for now and uh, I'll, ju I'll just make uh, another video okay for uh, more de details okay just to start up with your drawing and then okay and uh, creating this uh, floor plan okay so that's all for now and uh, just uh, I'll be sending you again some other videos thank you